Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and today we are going to discuss something about the sign of Pisces where Venus gets exalted and also a bit on the signs Taurus and Libra and some secret links between these three signs, okay? And you can also use this video's knowledge to see how you can correlate with your own Venus and its placement, okay? And as usual, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up at the end and share it with somebody who is interested to know about love, basically, because that's what Venus represents. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And if you want a consultation from me regarding your Venus, then you could always go down to the description section of my website, of my videos, where you'll find the link to my website. So, what is Venus? Venus represents our sense of comfort, our sense of luxury, I would say. Venus represents those things which, even if is not there in your, in your life, will not affect you. But if it is there, then life becomes a bit better <laughs> so venus rules taurus and libra as you know and libra is the multicorn sign and it gets exalted in pisces and debilitated in the sign of virgo which is opposite to pisces so now what is the meaning of own sign and exaltation so taurus and libra are the own signs and libra is a much higher sign because it's multicorn and Pisces is the highest of exaltation where Venus reaches in 28 degrees of Pisces. But the question is, what, what is basically the difference between, you know, Multricorn or own sign and exaltation? So own sign means what the planet thinks itself to be. That's what is own sign. So if you, if you ask somebody, what is Venus? The definition of Venus is luxury and relationships that's what is venus because taurus is luxury and libra is relationships but then what is exaltation exaltation means see own sign as i told you what the planet thinks himself to be and exaltation means where he finds happiness so suppose you think that i should stay in a place i am this person but being you does not make you happy being somebody else makes you happy or when you go to somebody else uh, another place or somewhere else that makes you the happiest so exaltation means the most comfortable sign where it can fully express itself okay so that's very weird you know, most of the planets their exaltation signs is not in their own houses, okay? I mean, Mercury is an exception. But for example, Venus, he gets exalted in the sign of his enemy, which is Jupiter, because Pisces is ruled by Jupiter. So now what is Pisces basically? See, always remember, wherever Venus is sitting, it always wants to sit in Pisces. Should I repeat, wherever Venus is sitting, it wants to sit in Pisces. So what does this mean? It means that the sign where your Venus is placed, that will tell you what will be the dynamics or what could be the challenges or advantages to move towards Pisces. So that means if a Venus, if Venus is well placed, then it is easier for Venus to go towards Pisces. And if Venus is not well placed, then it is very difficult to go towards Pisces. And which is the most difficult sign for Venus to go to Pisces? That's Virgo because it's directly the opposite. Then you have to travel all seven houses, seven houses. Either you go this side or that side, seven houses. Okay. So that means wherever Venus is placed, it always wants to ultimately go to Pisces. Okay. So what does this mean? What is Pisces basically? Pisces at a higher level is uh, spiritual wisdom basically. That's the sign of moksha. That's the ultimate liberation. 
that's the highest of spiritual science but at a mundane sense if you want to talk of pisces what pisces is pisces is the sign of freedom basically what is freedom freedom doesn't mean freedom to do whatever you want anything anywhere anytime that is external freedom that's uh, that's a fake definition of freedom which the modern headless materialistic society and yes i forgot to say <laughs> there are many things which i will say in this video <laughs> which uh, you may not like to hear and later on you may be pissed off so if you don't like then walk out now itself okay because later on if you will send me mails I may not reply to them okay I will direct your mail to the heavenly realms of Pisces <laughs> okay so now what is the fake freedom see there are two types of freedom now, one is the freedom which the headless materialistic society which doesn't know anything where they are going they're totally headless they have given a new definition of freedom but the same definition of freedom is there in the Vedic context, in the Vedic scriptures. But it's a bit different. What is the today's modern idea of headless freedom? Headless freedom means I want to do anything, anywhere, anytime. That's what freedom is. So the problem with this idea is people have an inherent assumption before saying this that if I am allowed to do whatever, whenever or however, or if I do, not that if I am allowed or I am not allowed, then I will become happier, you see. So that means if I want to go and do, uh, if I want to go and smoke, then if I am allowed to smoke, then that must make me happier because that's making me free, right? But the question is, is it making you free? Well, the answer is no, because the Vedic tradition talks of freedom at a different sense it talks of freedom see the materialistic culture talks of freedom for okay and the vedic cultures talk about freedom from so what is what is freedom the word free it's like you are free you know? <laughs> so this is the the freedom which the external uh, the, the the modern materialistic headless society talks about is external freedom okay what Vedic scriptures talk of is internal freedom. Okay. So Vedic scriptures encourage us to do activities which will help us become more free from inside. Which may sometimes appear as if the external freedom is curbed. It appears like that apparently. It is not like that. It appears like that. Okay. So, for example, uh, sometimes some people from outside of India, they ask me that, oh, in India, there's so much restriction, you know, or Vedic context, the either ways you want to call it. The, oh, like you know, now Navratri is coming. Many people, their parents will tell them, don't eat meat, don't take wine, blah, blah, blah. All sorts of rules are there, you know. So it appears that the freedom is restricted, okay. Like um, Radhashtami is around the corner, Janmashtami just went, okay, people are fasting. So it, it appears that there is no freedom which the Vedic scriptures give, okay. But when we do spiritual activity, see why, why there is restriction? So that we can use those powerful times to do spiritual practices, activities and elevate ourselves. And when we do that, then what happens? We become more free from insight yes then all the anarthas you know kama krodha lobha moha mada matsarya all the anarthas lust greed anger envy pride illusion all these which i spoke in the janmashtami video they cannot torment us they cannot even touch us what to speak of tormenting us okay so to the degree we are free inside to the degree we are free inside, to that degree Venus will behave as if it is in Pisces. And to the degree we are caged inside with bad habits, to that degree our own, our same, not the opposite partner, our Venus, it is we, that will behave as if it is in Virgo. 
Why? Because what is Pisces? Pisces is the sign of freedom, which means that if you want to love somebody, then you must give them the freedom to not love you back. Yes, that's what Pisces is. When, when you say that you love somebody, or when you say that you know, that person loves me, so this means that two people, they feel completely free and secure. Internally, they feel very free and secure when they are with that person. Yes, that this person will never do bad for me, will never wish bad, will never, will never exploit me. That's what, uh, that's what is ultimate freedom, right? But if you want to be like that, that you don't exploit anybody, you don't misuse anybody, you don't torture anybody, you don't use anybody, then we, in, we inside our core, we have to become free individuals. Otherwise, we will have shallowness inside and that shallowness will not let us behave in a way that the other person feels as if I am, uh, as if that person is free with us, okay? So, uh, this is very evident these days. Many times I get messages where people tell me that, oh, actually, you know, uh, I'm very much concerned with my spouse, you know, my husband or my wife, you know, I think, you know, uh, they're going around having affairs with somebody, some secret affair, which I don't know. Or it appears that they are not interested or, you know, and I try to, you know, check their mobiles. I try to check Facebook, you know, who they are chatting. <laughs> okay, so that's the precarious situation of the modern headless materialistic society that there is zero faith in the opposite partner. Zero, it's absolute zero. There are very, 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 very few people who you will meet, who will tell you that I have 100% faith in my husband or my wife. Very few people you will meet. Why this is happening? Because, now of course, at, at one level you can say, suppose somebody is, suppose a man is cheating on, a, on his wife, then that is his karma. He will pay for it later on, okay? The, that, that repercussion will be there. But at the same time, why do we have this fear? Yes, because deep down inside, we are also insecure. We have doubt that what will happen if my spouse goes and starts enjoying with somebody. Mera kya hoga? What will happen to me? Yes. So that, that when it becomes so extreme that, you know, sometimes people, they will... Uh, they will put conditions on the spouse that, you know, oh, you, you can't go and meet him. You can't go and meet her. I don't like her. I don't like him. You can't do this. You can't do that. So what is that person doing? That person is basically projecting their insecurities outside. So it's like Virgo. Virgo is the sign of control, sixth house. Control. There's no happiness there in Virgo. It is... It is basically a feeling of a fake sense of controllership. It's not original. It's a fake sense of controllership. Yes, I own this person. This person has to do what I say. Okay. So, for example, um, many times people ask me, you know, oh, oh, why should I follow this, you know, scriptures and all these uh, books which tell, you know, don't eat meat, you know, eat uh, sattvic food. I am free, you know, who, who are these old people to dictate what I want, what I don't want. You know, I will lead the, my life the way I want. Well, you can do whatever you want. That's not the point. But the point is, if you use your free will properly, then you will become more satisfied inside as an individual. Then your lust will go down. Kama, krodha, anger will go down. Half of the problems in relationships. Why? Anger. He said like this. She said like this. Get out. I don't know you from tomorrow. Yes. As my guru used to say, love at first sight, divorce at first fight. Nowadays, I don't know if divorce stays till the first fight or before that. Or not. <laughs> this statement he had given 10 years back when I started my spiritual journey in 2010. I don't know what is the situation now. So the thing is, 
their words, their you know, greed, all the anarthas, all the trouble in the world. That is because we have used our free will, quote and quote, freedom in a wrong way. Yes. Watching adult material, pornography, or anything sensual in the internet, then what happens? When you do that, your mind gets programmed. Yes. So then what happens? The moment you see a member of the opposite sex, you think that person is just like a, what do you say? It's like, it's like a piece of cake, you know, it's just, I should go and devour that person. Or maybe you have already devoured that person mentally, right? Yes. So that's what pornography does to you. Or going on, just doing whatever you want. You, you see, go, going on eating and drinking and doing just whatever you want. So that ruins our mental peace. Till now, you will never find one person who is happy, who smokes or who drinks. Why? Because there is a void inside that person which he is trying to cover up by doing all these artificial necessities. Okay. By trying to force your body to you know, have pleasure of orgasm by masturbation or by going towards prostitution, by doing all this stuff. So to the degree we cage ourselves in, by, in the name of so-called external freedom, to the degree we cage ourselves internally, to that degree, it will be very difficult to take Venus to Pisces because then we cannot give others that freedom that they deserve in, in the relationship. Okay, And this is not only with husband, wife. This can be with mother, father, anybody. No relationship in this world can sustain if you do not give the other person freedom. Okay. Imagine staying with a person who is just dictating, you know, you should do this, you should do that. I want you to be like this. And that's the biggest problem. You see, most of the times, what happens is if somebody is not having spiritual consciousness, then the more you get closer to somebody, the more you get closer to somebody, you want that person to behave the way you want them to behave. Okay. I mean, so for example, I don't know if I said it right. <laughs> I want that person should behave like this, but when I'm, far from that person that's not a problem but the moment i go close the more i go close the more i want them to behave the way i want them to behave <laughs> and then that person feels choked that person feels that I, as if his venus or her venus has gone to virgo okay so many times people will uh, spend uh, hours and hours in internet or going to astrologers asking, you know, what kind of partner will I get? What kind of partner will I marry or I will get into a relationship with? Okay. Yes, you, using astrology, you can get some idea of that. But the point is, the easiest way to know that is just there's the saying, you know, your vibe attracts your tribe. So if you are caged inside with insecurities, fears, and you know horror stories, then you will also attract a partner who will be like that. If you are into depression and addiction, then you will also attract a partner who is like that. Okay, but if you are very elevated, you are trying to improve your life, you are trying to improve uh, your consciousness, you are reading divine books, you are meeting divine people, then your spouse will also be like that. Okay. And this is irrespective of any country or any gender. Nothing matters. The only thing which matters is your internals. Okay. So let us use our freedom properly so that we can be free first ourselves from, from the headlessness of this material society. Okay. And then let us give that freedom to somebody else and only then our venus i don't know where venus can be for anybody venus can be anywhere but it will behave as if it is in pisces okay so this is the this is the this is the remedy for venus it's it's not easy remedy it's a very difficult remedy but this is the ultimate remedy okay no so if you think that by donating on Fridays, your Venus will improve, 
you can do it for the rest of 100 years and you talk to me after 100 years okay if you think that uh, by uh, donating to you know like some animals they specify vena so sometimes people think that without improving my life if i go and donate to certain animals you know, or some birds then my venus will improve right or no uh, they think that uh, another place i have heard somebody telling that you know you should consult other couples who are in difficulty so these are venus remedies you see again all external remedies now they may work nothing wrong with these remedies but until our own venus goes to pisces no remedy is going to work for us because ultimately the person will not love us for our external things true love is based on what is inside the person's core okay because you don't love anybody's body or anybody's money you, you when you say you love somebody you love the person not anything about the person i mean you love the person <laughs> okay so i don't know if i could convey the point that when we use our free will properly then we become more free okay and uh, the other day i made that video where i said on jupiter and saturn that challenge get up at 4 and start the month mantras by 4:30 or 5 and i'm so ha happy that uh, many 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 people have messaged me in one day itself that uh, okay as you say you know, i will do it for 21 days i will do it for one month i will do it for three months i will do it for six months and then i will let you know okay so i'm very happy and uh, i wish that you start doing now also after seeing this video if you did not decide after that video okay then i will consider that this video is successful okay not that it get some 1 million views or anything like that okay but important is even if one person can transform his or her life i will consider that i am successful <laughs> <laughs> okay there's no use of other things like viewerships or subscribers it's all just a number but if people are getting benefited then you are doing some nice work <laughs> okay thank you very much for your patience and if you want a consultation from me regarding your venus then you can always go down to the description section where you will find the link to my website to book a reading with me and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and if you are new then please subscribe and if you like this video hit the thumbs up and share it with somebody who wants to know more about love okay thank you very much and see you again someday